Okay, today I have uh, about a 215 foot run of two inch conduit uh, that runs below grade and uh, I need to get some rope through it so that I can pull my service out to an outbuilding. Um, and to do so, here's what we're gonna use. I've just got a piece of, just a, an, a, a bag from a grocery store, uh, just a plastic bag, shove that down into that hole and on the handle of the bag, um, I've attached a pull string um, and it is, well, what I'm using is South wire. This came from Lowe's, but you can get it about anywhere. Um, but this is string that's made for your initial pull for your uh, wiring conduit. Um, so I'm just gonna lay that up here on something out of the way. And then whenever we blow that bag down through the pipe, uh, it'll pull the string behind it, and whenever it pops out the other end, then I can tie my bigger line to, to this line and pull it through, then use the bigger line, of course, to pull the uh, wire through. So let's get the leaf blower, and um, here we go. So I'm just using a battery-powered leaf blower. We'll stand it up there where it is not going to pinch the, the string. Off it goes. You can't see the other end, but um, at the other end, uh, there we go. At the other end, um, I can see it out there a couple hundred feet away at the building, so I'll see when this bag blows out at the other end. Uh, it got wrapped around the pipe. Well, this would be easier if I if God had just given me another hand. All right, the bag has popped out on the other end. You can't see it down there, I'm sure, but let's zoom in. Yeah, you can't see it through the wheat through the trees, but. Anyway, my bag has popped out on the other end, and that's uh, that's as easy as that gets. We'll run down there, get that on the camera. Okay. All right, there's the plastic bag we stuffed in on the other end, and uh, of course, as soon as it popped out, then you know, then the the line stopped blowing through. So. There's really no chance of you blowing a bunch of excess through, um, especially when you've got a run that's a couple hundred feet long. There's there's some resistance on that string. Um, I wish I could convey that to you, but I can I can feel it definitely pulling back on me whenever I pull on it. You know, it's not a perfectly straight line because I cut it through the trees. So it kind of goes a little bit this way and a little bit that way as I weave through the trees. So uh, anyway, now I'll tie my yellow line on it, my heavy line on it, and then get my electric cook cut, and we're nearly done.